Donald Trump's home here in Palm Beach is quickly earning the title Winter White House. It's a story to state steeped in history. Mr. Trump has spent the past 20 Thanksgivings here. But now, as president elect, everything is different. It's absolutely magical. It's the most beautiful place in the world. Tony Senecal knows a thing or two about Mar-a-Lago, Donald Trump's Palm Beach, Florida estate. He worked there for half a century, up until 2009, for more than 20 years as the Trump family's Mar personal butler. This one I like. This one. But the situation at Mar-a-Lago is about to change, big league. And it's just Mr. Trump and, and Miss Melania and myself. Excuse me, President-elect Trump. Got to get used to that. Mar-a-Lago is soon to become a very opulent winter White House, or as some speculate, because of its color, the pink White House. It's so great to be at Mar-a-Lago with friends and the press and the media and everybody. The 20-acre estate was originally built by serial heiress Marjorie Merriweather Post. She actually envisioned it as a winter retreat for U.S. presidents. Now, some say it's the most valuable parcel of land anywhere in Florida. Much of the 126-room estate is used by the members-only Mar-a-Lago Club, which includes a spa pool and tennis courts. The Trump family maintains private quarters in a separate closed off area of the house. Mar-a-Lago has always been a center of attention in wealthy Palm Beach, at times something of a party place. Hundreds of celebrities have made their way there to mingle with the Trumps. But now as President Trump, residents are not quite sure what to expect. I think it'll bring a lot of attention, a lot of tourism, and so it's a bit of a double-edged sword, I suppose. We'll see how it goes. Um, it's, a, it's a welcome presence, just as long as it's not too bad traffic-wise. We have a wonderful picture. Benjamin Salata is the curator of the Palm Beach County Historical Society. He's seen this before. He's not our first president in Palm Beach. Presidents have been escaping Washington winters and spending time in Florida for decades. The Kennedys liked to winter at their compound in Palm Beach. Before that, Harry Truman had a place in Key West. And Richard Nixon had a house on Key Biscayne, just outside of Miami. Now it will be President Trump's time in the Sunshine State. We were starting to collect things on the, the Trump presidency, just like we did for the Kennedy presidency. Last year, Trump made almost $16 million for Mar-a-Lago, according to his financial disclosure statement. Now its value may be immeasurable. I can just see Mrs. Post smiling because it's become what she always wanted it to be. Its time has come. Well, as you can imagine, the security has been ramped up. The Coast Guard patrolling the waters around the estate. The FAA has restricted the airspace for as long as Mr. Trump is in town. Willie Tamron. Yeah, that'll be a fortress from now on. Mm. Kristen, thanks so much. Come Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.